So, yeah, America is screwed, according to Thunderfoot. Just want to say a few things here. Thunderfoot says, in the economies of the coming world, they are going to be based around science and technology. End quote. Well, economies of now, of today, are based around technology, are they not? And the importance of scientific knowledge is well understood around the world, including the United States. Okay, so Thunderfoot talking to you directly here. You say in order to compete in marketplaces, you need a lot of educated people. Of course, you're right. You know, like Europe or Asia or elsewhere, there are very highly educated people living and working in North America, as I'm sure you're aware. You know, people making positive contributions to society promoting science and education. If we're comparing the United States to European countries, I think it's fair to say that the US is a very religious country. Now, I won't pretend that I know very much about the current state of the education system in the US, I would assume you know a good deal more about that than I. Isn't the United States a nation which was built on the blood, sweat and tears, so to speak, of immigrants, yeah? And still today, people go to America, sometimes risking all they have, for the chance of a better life. Is the US in grave danger, though, of going under in the near future? Losing its freedoms to the religious fanatics? Maybe an American citizen can... Answer that question for me in the comments section. The truth is, democracies around the world, they need their citizens to be scientifically literate. Folks need to be clued up in order to make informed decisions on the big issues that affect their lives. Science and science education is very important. Widespread ignorance is seriously dangerous, especially given the formidable technology that now exists in the 21st century. Thunderfoot, I'm not so sure I agree with you when you say that the internet is a place where religions come to die. I don't know if you've noticed this about people, but humans believe some pretty strange things. And people can be very stubborn. And with some folks, you know, you can show them the truth, you can list the facts, but some people just won't listen, you know. Whether we're talking about cults or extremist groups, religious or secular, surely you have to admit that people who you might call crazies or nutters have made a home for themselves on the open internet, 
right? You believe in what you're doing. You believe in what you're saying, right? I don't subscribe to your channel or watch your videos on a regular basis. And I'd say there are many better sources of science education online than your YouTube account, sir. But clearly plenty of folks do subscribe to you. You do all right here. Fair play to you, fair play. You've been doing this for seven years, you say. I ask, how long are you going to carry on on YouTube? I don't suppose you can put a number on it. Do you plan to move on, though, at some point and do something else? Have you got plans? Plans to do something bigger, perhaps? Anyway... See you later, folks. Take it easy.